Hi everybody. I'm Lewis. I'm Aaron. I'm Shane. Lewis. Aaron. Shane. Lewis. Aaron. Shane. And this is episode four of the DD Kong video series. Today's episode is going to cover a lot of the repair work and more aesthetic stuff that has been done to the truck for this season. Fixing broken stuff, panel wrapping, new speakers, new center console, and a whole mess of stuff I probably forgot. Check, Check it out. out. The later shows last season, we noticed that the truck was down on the meter. So we got to poking around to try to find where and found out that we had in fact cracked the faceplate effectively off of the enclosure. Uh, so that was what the first was, was some fiberglass repair work to go ahead and repair that in a sturdy fashion so we don't have to worry about that popping again. And then just a little bit of body work to hide it. We had a lot of people last year, they get out of the car, they're like, it's crazy, the floor is like moving all over the place. Come to find out, we had like a 16 inch gash all the way down the side of the floor, so we just ended up with these two panels flopping back and forth on each other. Mason was uh, instrumental in this part. We went in with 3 8 steel plate to try to help keep that passenger floor intact. <laughs> Did the job quite well. Uh, in order to fill any of the voids, we used a two-part epoxy just to backfill everything with, so everything dried completely solid, and no one has to worry about their feet dancing around in the floor pan anymore. Taking the door off wasn't too bad because we didn't really have to worry about anything. It was all broken anyways. There were panel cracks, there was sheet metal splits, all sorts of stuff that was just boogered up, boogered, boogered up, up, boogered up. Booger, booger, dap, dap. Luckily, it's just a couple of pins that hold that door in. Otherwise, there's really not a whole lot to it. <laughs> So Mason went through, constructed a lattice work of 3 16th steel to reinforce the entire outer skin of the door to tie every single piece together instead of just relying on the factory spot welds. Whenever you do a lot of welding on really thin sheet metal like that, there's always a potential for warpage. And Lewis had to go back in and add a lot of body filler to make it uh, look mostly not banana shaped anymore. Some of the body work got done. Somebody got tired of sanding eventually. <laughs> And so we called it close enough, but it went from a uh, unique landscape across the door to something that is passable. Once he got all that in, we did 16 pound two part foam in every single crevice that could be found in the door, all the way around the window frame, everywhere that it could be. We added around 28, 29 pounds of structural reinforcement, and that was before we added all of the other stuff back on it. So that was just strictly the door itself. Once all the repairs had been done to the passenger door, we needed to go get it rewrapped. So it went back to our friends at Lettering Express to get the wrap redone and make it look super sexy. Super sexy. Just in time for the shows. So this season, instead of the plain black stripper pole that was in there last season, we went ahead and got that powder coated red to match the overall theme of the truck. And that would be the red rocket. The beautiful red rocket. <laughs> The center console this year needed some changes. We were going to end up adding switches for all the alternators. Obviously, while we had it apart and adding all the electronics in there, I decided it was uh, it was time to rewrap that. In the process, the stripper pole for the entirety of the last season had been rubbing up against the back of the center console, which had rubbed quite a large hole in the vinyl. So, in the process of rewrapping, we also hacked off the back of it so that we could get it rewrapped and not have any rub issues anymore. Rewrapping the panel's really not overly complicated. It's just a matter of knowing how to work with the material. Um, we use a product called All Sport here. It works really awesome because it stretches in four different directions, uh, lengthwise, widthwise, and at the angles, which is really nice. Uh, it allows you to do pretty complex shapes like the, uh, the back of the panel. You can see in, uh, when we're redoing that center console, um, the whole back of that, it, it has the ability to collect quite a bit of material, which will give you a lot of stretch marks in your, in your uh, vinyl. So with the All Sport, we can, because we can stretch from any angle, we can actually pull all those tight and not have that problem anymore. A lot of you guys that got to check out the Kong last year got to see uh, the super fancy window controller that's on the joystick. <laughs> Going forward this year, we wanted to make sure we added all the switches for the alternator. We also added an electric fan to the vehicle. By adding the electric fan, we were able to put the switch in the center console and add on to all the zesty features that are found within. And through the fabulous powers of Jake the Fabricator, he was able to make the coolest, most zesty looking center console panel I have ever seen. One of the other changes that we wanted to do was we went ahead and pulled out our VOM six and a half. We replaced them with our new VOMN line, resulting in weight savings, a little more power handling, crisper mids and highs. Another thing that also changed this season, Jay came up with a very unique design to inlay in the door panels. Thanks for tuning in again, folks. 
Uh, next week we will cover the uh, amps and signal processing used in the Kong. DSP it is. For all you Floridians out there, be sure to check us out at the Daytona Truck Show, June 7th, 8th, and 9th, down at the Daytona Speedway.